Hello, my name is Ilias Loban. I'm a dealer of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. My store, TrustedCoins.com, will provide you with a selection of over 6,800 items at the, at the time of the filming of this film. Let me show you a little bit of what you get with every item you purchase. Every item you purchase comes with a beautiful, professionally done certificate of authenticity, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, and of course my signature. I'm an expert known all around the world for having identified over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts over at the time of the making of this film. And each coin that you get comes in a professional flip with a miniaturized description of the professionally done description that's on the certificate with a number, with a unique number that matches the certificate too. So you could take this coin from here and carry it around with you. By the way, this is an ancient silver Roman coin of Emperor Augustus, the first Roman emperor. The, the, the description is professionally done, many times citing a major reference or collection the way that an expert description should be. And on the back, the historical context of the item you purchased. So even if you're brand new to the collecting field, this I believe is educational, it is a great uh, heirloom, and I believe to be the best investment. That's what I'm doing. So You might want to check out my site, trustedcoins.com. Today, I'm going to be reading the biography of Roman Emperor Galerius. This is what Galerius looked like. I have many coins of Roman Emperor Galerius and other emperors beyond in my store, trustedcoins.com. Galerius was Roman Emperor from 305 to 311 AD. Galerius was born in Sertica, where he later built his palace, named after his mother, Felix Ramulina, his birth and funeral place. His father was a Thracian and his mother, Romula, was a Dacian woman, who left Dacia because of the Carpians' attacks. He served with distinction as a soldier under Emperors Aurelian and Probus. And in 293, the establishment of the Tetrarchy was designated Caesar, along with Constantius Chlorus, receiving in marriage Diocletian's daughter, Valeria Galeria, no, later known as Galeria Valeria. Soon after his appointment, Galerius would be dispatched to Egypt to fight the rebellious cities. Bucyrus and Coptos. During his reign, he campaigned, aided by Diocletian, against the Sassanid Empire, sacking their capital, Ctesiphon, in 299 AD. He also campaigned across the Danube against the Carpi, defeating them in 297 and 300 AD. Although he was a staunch opponent of Christianity, Gal Galerius ended the Diocletianic persecution when he issued an edict of toleration in 311 AD. In 295, Narse, a son of Shapur I, declared war on Rome. Unsuccessful invasion of Armenia by Narse based on the fact that the title Persisi Maximi was given to all four emperors. During the second encounter in the Battle of Satala in 298, Roman forces seized Narse's camp his treasury, his harem, and his wives. Narse had previously sent an ambassador to Galerius to plead for the return of his wives and children, but Galerius had dismissed this ambassador, reminding him of how Shapur had treated Valerian. The Romans treated Narse's captured family with tact. Peace negotiations began in the spring of 299 AD with Diocletian and Galerius presiding. Their Magister Memoriae, Secretary, Sicorius Probus was sent to Narse to present terms. The conditions of the Peace of Nisibis were heavy. Persia would give up territory to Rome, making the Tigris the boundary between the two empires. Armenia was returned to Roman domination. Caucasian uh, Iberia would pay allegiance to Rome under Roman appointee. Nisibis now under Roman rule would become the sole conduit for trade between Persia and Rome. And Rome would exercise control over the five satrapies between the Tigris and Armenia. After the elevation of Constantius I 
and Galerius to the rank of Augusti, two new Caesars were required to supply their pa place and to complete the system of imperial government. First was Maximinus Daya, whose mother was Galerius' sister. Second was Severus, Galerius' comrade in arms. He was sent to Milan to receive the possession of Italy and Africa. The last years of Galerius, he was a supreme emperor of the empire, though he managed to retain the position of first among equals. Galerius died in late April or early May 311 AD from a horribly gruesome disease, possibly some form of bowel cancer or gangrene. So buy coins or just research them at my site trustedcoins.com. Thank you very much.